hello friends welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to see about astrosat as this word was there in the news from the past few days first we'll see what is astrosat astrosat is actually a satellite so it is defined in the two words astro is astronomy and satellite sat means satellite okay so it is the astronomy satellite which means which has been launched in the space for the study of uh, other satellites and what are they consist of we'll see this in detail now astrosat astrosat is india's first dedicated multi length multi wavelength space observatory it was launched on a pslv that is uh, this this number means 40 excel means 40 on 28th some september 2015 at 10 am okay so this this is the satellite which has been launched by the indian and it's and it is india's first dedicated multi wavelength space observatory now we will see what is a space observatory then we will see pslv okay so what is a space observatory a space observatory means uh, is an instrument uh, it's like a telescope and which will put in the outer space what for which is used for observation of distant planet galaxies and other outer space objects like how you use telescope on the land uh, same as a telescope which is space uh, which is placed in the space for the study of distant planet galaxies and other outer space objects now which was the first space observatory the first space observatory was hubble space telescope which is which was launched in 1990 as you can see in this figure this is the first space shuttle hubble it is called as a hubble telescope which was launched in 1990 now what is pslv <coughs> the full form of pslv is polar satellite launch vehicle the polar satellite launch vehicle commonly known by its observation pslv is an expendable launch system developed and operated by the indian space research organization okay so it was developed and it is operated by indian space research organization we will see what is isro in next slide and it was developed to allow india to launch its indian remote sensing satellite into sun synchronous orbit a service that was until the advent of the pslv commercially available only from russia now here the word expendable means the expendable expendable means like the the aircraft which is get launch as soon as it go upwards the uh, other carrier along with that will get departed even when once, once the fuel is over and uh, as it attains some altitude the rocket attains some altitude it will it will expand and it will release that operating device which was attached to it that's why it is said as a expendable and once the device is used it cannot be used for the next time okay so this pslv is the launching vehicle which is used to launch satellites now pslv launching vehicle as of 2015 the till now pslv has launched 87 satellites it has launched 87 satellites in that one 36 are from india's and the 51 are foreign satellites into a variety of orbits the first they what they have launched with the help of a russian team and they have launched aryabhatta and now we'll see what is isro uh isro is stands for indian space research organization is space agency of the indian government headquarters in the city of bengaluru and it was formed in 1969 till uh, 1962 another research organization was there which was formed by jawaharlal nehru but in 1969 isro was found and the first large satellite which they have launched was the aryabhatta with the help of soviet union and on april 19th april 1975 they have found in 1969 and they have launched the satellite in 1975 till now they have till now they have launched around 87 satellites 
in that one 36 are Indian and 51 are foreign satellites now we will see the overview after the success of the satellite brown Indian X-ray astronomy experiment IXAE which was launched in 1996 okay so with the success of this one the Indian research organization has given permission for again the expansion of this project and to build this astrosat now astrosat was successfully launched on 28th september 2015 from the satish dhawan space center on board as a pslv 11 40 vehicle at 10 am now what is the mission of astrosat the mission of the astrosat is the multivalent monitoring of intensity variation in a broad range of cosmic source the second one is the monitoring the x-ray sky for neo transit the third is the sky surveys in the hard x-ray and uv bands the fourth is the broadband spectroscopic studies of x-ray binaries agn snr clusters of galaxies and stellar coronae. the last one is the studies of periodic and non-periodic variability of x-ray source so, so this astrosat will study all these types of cosmic rays which are in x-rays so that's why as you can say this is this instruments are used to study both the low and the ultra wavelength of light now we'll see in detail what what is there on the satellite so as you can see here this is the uvit this is UVIT is the ultraviolet imaging telescope which is used to measure the ultraviolet imaging and the next one is soft x-ray imaging this is the this instrument is the soft x-ray imaging okay for low bandwidth and here LAX PC is the instrument which is used to study high bandwidth it is also x-ray instrument the CZTI is the cadmium zinc telluride imager okay and he, this is the ssm which is a scanning sky monitor it will scan the monitor and this is charged particle monitor which is present here it is used to load to give power to all this instrument that's why it is called as a charged particle monitor and it also control and monitor all the procedures of this satellite okay, so this is a brief video of astrosat if you like my video please press like share and subscribe thanks for watching